Welcome back guys, this is Challenge Rift 97 on the America's server. Uh, I've tried my best to get this up within the hour of the, the actual Challenge Rift being out. I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, this week is a Witch Doctor Lon build. Really fun to play, very fast build. Challenge Rift time is 5 minutes and 8 seconds. You'll have no problem doing that whatsoever. Um, please hit the subscribe button before we start. Really helps me out. Uh, and drop a comment in on what time you got. And hopefully we'll do a Challenge Rift together one day. So, thanks guys, let's jump straight in. Okay, so for Challenge Rift 97 on the American server, we have a long build for the Witch Doctor. This consists of the Deadly Rebirth and Thing of the Deep. And you've got your normal Iron Toe Mudstoppers, Depth Diggers, a Belt of Transcendence, Materials Mine, Leoric's Crown, Spaulders of Zachara, Gladiator Gauntlets, and Lucini Prowlers, and Squirt's Necklace. In the cube you have Staff of Cleopatra, so that's going to be good for Firebat damage. You have the Grim Reap the Grin Reaper, chance when attacking to summon horrific mimics that cast some of your equipped skills. Broken Promises! Uh, after five consecutive non-critical hits, your chance to critically hit is increased by 100% for three seconds. So for skills, you have Poison Dart and Fire Bats. They're going to be your two damage dealers. And then you've got Grasp of the Dead, which summons eels, so it make your enemies slower. Piranhas, Piranado. So summon a tornado with deadly piranhas that pulls enemies in, deals damage, and causes affected enemies to take additional damage. Uh, mass Confusion, Mass Hysteria. Confuse enemies and cause them to fight for you. Uh, rat, Wall of the Dead. Bad Medicine. Gruesome Feast. Pierce the Veil. And Grave Injustice. So, for this rift, you want to be hitting people with the Wall of the Dead. And then you want to drop the Piranhas in there. And then you want to start shooting your Poison Dart. And then your Fire Bats as well. So, let's get straight in. So, here we go. Time to beat is 5 minutes and 8 seconds. Let's just try and see what we can do. I'm just going to speed up this. Um, just remember to drop the piranhas, hit them with the grasp of the dead, hit them with the wall of the dead, hit fire bats as your main damage dealer. Uh, there's a couple of pylons halfway through, but they're not really going to have much of an impact. I had a conduit pylon, but it didn't really... The, the speed that I was killing things at, it didn't really bother it too much. It didn't really have that much of an impact. Uh, the power pylon, again, didn't really have much of the same, but it, it, this build is so easy to do. Um, you can spam your way through this if you really wanted to. Uh, but don't forget, Piranha Pool brings everyone in, and then everyone affected by it gets a damage increase. Uh, so make sure you're hitting that as much as you can. So use Poison Dart to actually reduce the cooldown of Piranado. So hit a few Poison Dart, whack Piranado up, job's a good one. So when it came to the Rift Guardian, I was about a minute 25, minute 27 ahead. Uh, for the Rift Guardian, just hit it with everything uh, and cold fire back damage and you will wipe the, wipe the Rift Guardian out fairly easily. I managed to do this uh, with time to spare, so 3 minutes 48 seconds, not bad. Within the first few, um, in the first half hour of being, just to give you guys a little bit uh, of a guide uh, quickly so you can jump on the leaderboards and hopefully beat my time. Uh, let me know if you do beat my time, drop it in the comments below. Again guys, my name is DB, thank you very much for watching.